Alright, hello everyone and welcome to my new Fallout 4 mini-series of Claustrophobia, where today we are going to be starting up our new modded adventure and hopefully having a few fun scares, as this is a horror mod, and I am very much looking forward to this, as apparently it is an homage to the cancelled Silent Hill game, and uh, yeah, that means I'm Hoping for some good things here, some good old-fashioned Silent Hill scares here in Fallout 4. Uh, it is kind of an old mod, it's almost a year old now, it was released back in July, but I had a fair few people recommend this to me when I did tell them that I was looking for something a little horrifying, uh, you know, to... Cleanse the palate, as shall we say, after our time in 76. So hopefully this goes well. If not, oh boy. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to today. So we are over here in West Roxbury. Let's actually take a look at the map here to show exactly where. We're just south of the station. And we are heading to this location as when we installed the mod, we were informed apparently that a whisper calmly informs us of a new location to explore and that is that place so let's go check it out see what it is we're detected by someone apparently oh well uh, it's not red so we don't have to shoot him I did have to kill a fair few super mutants before starting the episode though oh I picked the wrong place to spawn in I, I teleported into the station and I was surrounded by super mutants but uh, we survived we survived so we have the condemned apartment complex Alright, apparently we're supposed to stay back, do not enter, keep out. <laughs> when have I ever listened to warn- Oh, hey, we're over by, um, Gunner Plaza. Oh, yeah, I forgot that was there. Been a long time. I mean, not really so long, but, yeah, a little while. But, alright, let's head in, ignoring all the warnings, and enter into the lobby. Now, uh, apparently this isn't really a fighty mod. Any monsters we encounter are supposed to be, like, death pretty much if we try and engage them so uh, i'm intrigued to see how that's gonna go and so in fact honestly i'm gonna just put away my gun now we're supposed to go read that terminal pretty pretty nice and clean in here but let's take just a little look around we have bubbles bubbles the teddy bear nice all right vase anything fun to steal <laughs> no okay no, i did not read the terminal but apparently i completed it well, we're going to look at it. The terminal reads, This mod is intended to be dark, claustrophobic, and a bit scary. If you feel at any time uncomfortable, you can always go back to a safe room and relax. Ooh, we have safe rooms. Nice. This mod contains some music and audio from other video go- Oh, crap. I'm going to get demonetized. I recommend you going in with no weapons. It's not like you can shoot ghosts anyway. Some ENBs may not work. No power armor. No third-person camera. And also no companions. I did just dismiss dog meat before coming in here, so we should be good. But you can carry the teddy bears you find along the way. Good luck. Oh, we, let's, let's carry bubbles. Okay, whatever that means. Confirmed. Alright. I'm a little worried about the, um... The music from other video games. That is gonna get my recording hit on YouTube's copyright system. God, I hate that system. But alright, let's pick up bubbles. Yep. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna carry them like this. I don't know why, but I feel like it. Oh, we can't because we're gonna go into another area. Alright, I'm just gonna pick up bubbles then. Okay. We can drop him in the next room and carry him in front of us to protect us. I mean, that is the job of good teddy bear, is to protect you from the bad things. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to check under my bed this evening before going to sleep. Oh, it's supposed to be dark, so we're not gonna use... Ooh, I want to use my light purely because it's YouTube and you guys probably won't be able to see a damn thing. I hear things. Some... Crackling. I'm gonna turn on my light, guys. Because if not, you're not gonna see a damn thing. It's still pretty dark, though. I mean, not super dark, but... Oh, no, I feel bad about it. Light off! Door. What do we got in here? It is really dark. Oh, boy. You. 
Oh, after this episode, if you guys think it is too dark, uh, put that in the comments. I will uh, fix that for the next episode then. We'll we'll turn on our light. But yeah, for the time being, let's keep it keep it dark how the mod maker intended. Ooh, it is seriously dark. I I I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. What was that? I don't know if you guys heard that, but something was moving. Yeah, I don't know exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Do we have any sort of mission? No, I'm still supposed to help defend Grey Garden. <laughs> nah, that's not happening. I guess we're just supposed to make it through. Is that? Oh yeah, that has steps there. It's kind of hard to tell with things. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, wife's note. All right. Jonathan, if you're reading this, I have left and gone far away. I couldn't take it here anymore. This place is turning us into strangers. This apartment is too small for us. The walls and the floors creak and the rent is horrendous. The last straw for me was when the water purification system broke last week and it turned dark red. I'll gladly tell you where I am now if you promise to never come back here. It's going to be the death of you. Yeah, I'm guessing the blood red wasn't water. I'm gonna leave that there. Okay. Well, back this way. Man, it is really hard to see. <laughs> Plus, it's all hazy. Uh, we got a door that. Ooh. What do we got here, though? We got a gate. Requires key! Alright, okay. So we are gonna have to actually figure some things out. I don't appreciate that sound. I mean, something's gonna happen. Bard. Alright, I'm gonna try it anyways. Nope! Anything? No, just a broom. Some cleaner. Okay. Grey Garden successfully defended itself! Yay! <laughs> of course they did. I gave them turrets and such. Oh boy, it is hard to see. Close that. Now that's suit. Me trying to figure out where in the world to go here. Uh, oh, I saw something briefly. Just a, a nice clean tea kettle. Toaster, purified water. We're gonna need those. <laughs> oh, okay, that rocket scared me for no good reason. <laughs> I <laughs> saw something glowing on the ground. Oh, I'm paranoid now because it's a horror game. Oh, boy. All right, what do we got here? Nice cozy fire. Let's just stay there. Uh, glowing fungus. Or brain fungus, rather. So... Was that door open before? I'm paranoid now. I'm paranoid. Neighbor's nightmare notes. I can't sleep. I have nightmares every night. The demons come out to torture me. They haunt me with his death. With with, with, with with his death. Yes, they haunt me with his death. When I wake up, I'm even more tired than when I went to sleep. This can't go on. Yesterday, I stayed awake and I started hearing things in the walls. Like scratches and muffled whispers. Plus, the creaking doesn't help. I must go see Dr. Lewis again. Jacob. Okay, okay. Still don't have that key I'm looking for. Can we go through here? Oh my god, we can't go through here. Uh. No, okay. oh, shit! <laughs> okay! Oh, there goes the heart rate. Oh boy, that's that's a dead body. All right, okay, okay. Oh boy, who? <laughs> oh, that's that was a good one. That was a good jump scare. All right, keep moving forward. I'm wondering what sort of monsters we're supposed to encounter though that we aren't supposed to try and fight, and how do we get away from them? That'll be interesting to. Yep. Right on with that sound cue. Right on with that sound cue. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, ghoul. 
Is this gonna hurt me if I stand in here? Ooh, I actually can't stand in there. All right. Security gate key! Thank you, burnt corpse! Crazy rambling note. They have come for my soul. Okay. Have fun. You ate too much sugar bombs. Oh, mannequin. <laughs> oh. All right, door. Oh, hey, the bar door. Awesome. We're back. Was that light always red over there? I'm back to being paranoid. I mean, I know I'm supposed to go this way, but now I'm looking around for any other things. We got the gate open. Oh boy. That's a door. Alright. Let's check it. Laundry room. Perfect. Chained. Can't open it from this end. That's unfortunate. My god, it's hard to see. <laughs> Oh, oh, I think I saw a note. Laundry note. Note to that one person screaming at the machines doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, but it makes you feel better. And why do you insist on doing your laundry a minute before midnight? Please stop, a concerned neighbor. I mean, yeah, that is kind of annoying doing that from, you know, that late at night. Oh, I'm so happy I don't have to go to a laundry mat anymore or anything. <laughs> Those were dark times in college. <laughs> Alright, let's check this door. Oh, hi! That's a person. Oh, they're alive! They're, they are alive. I don't want to get closer. Alright, let's go in. Hello? Hi? I'll come around. And she's gone. That's what I kind of figured. Now she's a mannequin. That was very well done. I kind of, I thought she would just disappear, but turned into a mannequin. And that's Baby. I'm gonna read the note. Baby note. Oh, hey, good timing. The baby was crying. The baby was hungry. The baby was, fr was fed. The baby never cried again. Okay. I think I need the teddy bear back out. You, that was, that was actually really well done, though, with that, that transition. That's cool. Alright, this door. Just another oh oh we got we got a wall we can go through. Oh god. Okay, we'll come back here. We'll come back here. I wanna just make sure I didn't miss anything in here. No, we're good. We can sit on the couch if we want, you know. Take a little breather. Anything this way? Jesus, to the freaking mannequin. Oh, is that? That's that's water on the floor, right? Yeah, that's water on the floor. Okay, requires key. Novice lock. Ooh, we can do that. And I got crap loads of bobby pins. Nope. Alright, got that's it. That's it. Perfect. Oh, boy, it's dark. Okay. Oop. Oop, I'm in a hole. That's a hole in the ground. Okay. Just a dinner plate. No, not seeing a note. Just a creepy red room. Awesome. We got a terminal, though. Watcher's terminal. What's this? Young couple near the front door. Been here for the last 86 days. They have regular arguments. The man watches TV from his bed. Drinks a lot. The woman hates it. Him. She wants to leave. Go back to her hometown with her parents. Might do it when he's at work. Leave a note or something. Man came back to an empty apartment. Heard glass break. Fell asleep watching loud static on TV. Okay. Loader in his dark room. Eats very little. Doesn't come out often. Can be heard praying. Or summoning something. What? Okay, beardy, 30s, up to no good. Ha! Huh. Right? Divorced man hiding from something. Name? Jacob. War veteran. Has nightmares all the time. Otherwise a nice person. Had a kid. Doesn't anymore. Spends more and more time away. From here? From her? 
From here, from here, or else. Must watch more. What do we got next? Old couple across me. Husband's hair started graying. Can't imagine how hard it is to take care of her. Her husband is her watcher. He can't. He can't not watch during the day. Or else she leaves. Gets lost. Maybe dies. He's always on a verge. Needs to bounce everything. Or they both go. Okay, and a little uh, introspection on me. I'm the watcher. I look at them the way they would never look at me. Recently, I cannot watch. I look and see nothing. The birds no longer chirp outside my window. Something awful. I feel I will stop being the watcher soon and will become the watched. Goodbye, little birds. Okay. Okay. I'm also glad nothing was there when I turned around. I was really paranoid that there would be. <laughs> it seems like something that would have been like the perfect moment for another jump scare. Was that? That mannequin was not there before. That mannequin was not there, but... <sighs> okay. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Is that the door I have to go through? Oh god, it's the mannequin from the lady behind the thing. Well. Time for me to curl up in a ball and die. <laughs> Alright, oh, that's the laundry room. Yeah, this is the door we gotta go through. Oh my god. Oh, nope, she's still there. She's still there. Hi. Okay, I guess it's time to go through the wall. Prepare for another jump scare, most likely. Oh, it's the baby pram. Okay. Ooh, ooh, we're going up. You. Anything this way? Ooh. Ooh, a fall to death, probably. Let's not go there. Oh! Well, not what I was expecting, but okay! Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you, sound effect. I already saw the dead guy. You should have triggered it back here. <laughs> Hey, the staircase key! And... Is any of this real? Is anything real? The windows are fake. The wood... Or, the food has no taste. I don't know why I thought that was wood for a moment there. No, the food has no taste! My child was lifeless. This is all a farce. Okay. That's what happened to the husband. The wife became a mannequin. Well, we got the key I need now. Down I go. Oh boy. Alright. And I actually think... Oh, thank God the mannequin's still there. <laughs> Again, I was really paranoid I'd come back here and the mannequin would be turned around. That would have... Uh, I would, I, that would have creeped me the hell out. I'd have been done. I'd have been done. <laughs> okay. I think we're actually going to end this um, when I go through the door. Because that... You know, moving from one floor to the next seems like a good place to end. If this is like a floor-based thing. Is this... Oh, you yeah, know, this is it. Where was the door that I need to open? Oh, yeah. Over here. Over here. Over here. No, no, let's change. On the other side. Where is the door that needed the key? I'm going to turn my... Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, hi. Yeah, I remember you now. Yeah, staircase, first floor. Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a good place to stop. In the next episode, we'll uh, start up on the next floor. That, that seems like a sensible way to split things up, if indeed each floor is a different thing. If uh, next episode turns out to be something different, then I don't know, maybe we'll change. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this so far. If it has been too dark, uh, please, do, please do say so in the comments, and we may play with the light on. Uh, I kind of don't want to because, holy crap, this has actually been very well made and is terrifying so far. Uh, but if you guys do think it is too dark, because uh, YouTube is going to make it darker, plus compression ratios, all that bollocks. So, uh, yeah, but please do say in the comments, and hopefully you all have enjoyed. You do come back for the next when I'm going to continue to be terrified. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always...
Have a good one.